Tarek Kay, Director of Cybersecurity and Software at Aristil, is joining us from Montreal. Thank you for your time, Tarek. Appreciate it. Hi. Thanks. So when you take a look at what's happening with Empire Company, what's the first uh, thing that comes to your mind? What exactly is going on here? Well, they, when, when people are saying that it's an IT issue, I mean, IT issue can hide a cyber issue because the first thing that the cyber hackers are attacking is the data. So I think just reading what, what I mean from the newspaper and what's, what's happening, it's, I think it's mostly a cyber attack because if the system are locked down, if the pharmacy cannot get prescriptions and so on, so for sure it's, it's likely, most likely a cyber attack. So Tariq, how does this impact uh, consumers all across the country? After all, we're talking about a huge number of grocery stores that come under the company. Yeah, I mean, when, when we when we uh, we are talking about pharmacies, we are talking about healthcare, and when we are talking about healthcare, for sure we are talking about data, healthcare data. So it's very sensitive. I don't know what's the the impact of this. What kind of data was breached? If it was there is a breach, and this is very sensitive. Sensitive, and I think I know that there's not silence is uh, still there, and uh, people are not given like the root cause or what's exactly happened. But if this is something that touches the data or, uh, like, let's say, patient data, I think it's, uh, it's a huge stuff and we should take care of it correctly. So, of course, consumers are one end of the story, the impact on data where consumers are concerned. But in your understanding, Tarek, in terms of operations for grocery stores, pharmacies, of course, we discussed. But what could be the impact of this sort of an attack on uh, supply chains for the grocery stores? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it could be, you, you see, systems are, all the systems are based on data, again, mm -hmm. and data is key. So if system cannot access the data, for sure, it's a huge impact. And let's say we can take someone who can who want to buy something from online or is in the store and the systems are not responding correctly, for sure, it will create a, a big mess. What's your sense? Why do you think the parent company has been so tight-lipped about what's going on? Is it because they don't know, they don't want to share the information? Why is this the case according to you? Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's two things. The first one is reputation, because people are, are thinking, okay, my reputation, but I, don't, I think we should, the discussion should be beyond the, the reputations, because we are not there, we are not there anymore. We should, we should share. We should be in a collaborative uh, uh, mode that everyone can can help because when this thing is is hit, hitting someone that we don't know who is the who is next and reputation is the first one the second it could be something related to the investigation that are like ongoing and they don't want to share all the information because they want to keep it like for themselves and maybe there's some discussion with the hackers and they don't want to share everything for now and uh, hopefully they, they will share it in the future. But I think uh, we, we should have the discussion beyond the reputation, beyond, and, and we should be in a collabor collaborative uh, work. Briefly, if you could, Tariq, I have little time. You said there could be some conversations with the hackers. So this would mean that this would be a case of ransomware. And should yes. the companies go ahead and perhaps pay the ransom is another big question. Yeah. And yeah, that, I mean, this, this is bringing the, the discussion what should be done before and what should be done during the, the, the attack and what should be done after the, 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 the hack. So right. uh, we, I've, I've, been, I've been in this experience we, in our company when we get hit and we, we, we didn't pay, but we were prepared and we, we I mean, the team worked, worked it out during and after the, the hack. So I cannot really say what's going on, but for sure there's, there, there are discussion if there is there is like a hit and a hack. For right. sure, there are discussions, and I don't think they should pay. But it depends. Again, it depends on the context. It depends on, of 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 many things. Because even yeah. if you pay, you are you are. I mean, nothing will guarantee that this data is not already sold in the dark web. For example. Indeed. Okay, we'll have to leave it at that for the moment. Tarek Hay is a PhD and director of cybersecurity and software at Aristil. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you, Tarek. Thanks.